Hey, what's up guys? MLT Magic Tricks here, and in today's video, I'm going to be performing and then teaching you this really great card trick that will definitely make your spectator think twice about what they just saw, because this trick has a very powerful end effect. But before we get to that, if you are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more card and magic trick videos like this. And also guys, make sure to follow the Twitter account for the channel. The username is MLT Magic Tricks, and I'll be leaving the link in the description to that. And also, we are coming up on 50,000 subscribers. We're only like 3,000 subscribers away. And once we hit that big milestone, I will be having an Amazon gift card giveaway on my channel. So once again, if you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. And now let's get right into this performance. Okay, so I'd start off this trick just by shuffling up the pack, just like so, because I want to get the cards completely mixed up. Now at this point, I would have my spectator make a selection. So they can go ahead and take out a card from the middle of the deck. So let's say my spectator chooses this card right here. And for the trick, it really does not matter. I can go ahead and see their card. So in this case, my spectator selection is the queen of spades. I'm going to go ahead and place their card on top of the deck, just like that. Now I would instruct my spectator to cut their card somewhere into the middle of the pack, just like so. Now all I need to do here is snap my fingers over the pack. You guys will see that something pretty cool happens because there is now one blue card out of the entire deck. And I'm going to show you guys that the card that changed to blue is not just any card. It happens to be your selection, the Queen of Spades. So that was pretty good, but I think to take this trick to the next level, we're going to need to do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and place the Queen of Spades off to the side here. We will get to that in a little bit. But right now, what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and mix up the pack a little bit. I'm going to give the cards some cuts. And I'll even give the deck a quick ripple shuffle as well because I really just want to mix up the pack even more just like this and now my spectator is going to make a, another selection so they can go ahead and just call stop anywhere they want to because I'm riffling down the side of the pack so let's say they call stop right here right there that is going to be their second selection and in this case my spectator's second selection is the king of spades and we're going to do the same thing here I'm going to take their second selection the king of spades I'm going to place it on top of the deck I would tell my spectator to cut the card somewhere into the middle just like that I'm going to snap my fingers over the pack I'm gonna spread out the cards just like this, and you guys will see it. One card, you know, should be blue. But wait, I never said the blue card had to be in the deck because there is a blue card on the table that has been in your sight the entire time. So I'm gonna snap my fingers over this card, give it a little wave, and you guys will see that the blue card is somehow your second selection now, the king of spades. So that is the card trick. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, and if you wanna learn how to do it, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance, and this is a really great card trick because it is not too difficult to perform, and it will definitely fool all of your spectators, and all you need for this trick is a duplicate set of cards, and one of the cards needs to have a different colored back as the rest of the deck. So if you guys have a blue and red bicycle decks, that works perfectly, or if you have, you know, blue and red monarch decks like I have, that also works, and the values of these cards do, do not matter. It can be any pair of duplicates uh, from the deck, that works just fine. So you're you're going to take the uh, first duplicate that has a different colored back as the rest of the deck. You're going to place this card on the bottom and you're going to take the other one and simply place it on the top. So that is your setup. It's really simple. And guys, there is another way you can set up the deck of cards and I will explain that after I explain this first setup. They're really similar. You, you perform the trick the exact same way, except there's just one move in the middle of the trick that is a little bit different with the second setup, but they're both the same effect. And I will be explaining both of these methods, you know, in this tutorial, but let's get right back, back on track back to the first setup, which, which is what I did in the performance. So one more time here, guys, you're going to take your first duplicate with the same colored back as the rest of the deck on top, the other duplicate with the different colored back on the bottom. You go up to your spectator. You can do, you know, any false cuts you want to. Uh, just make sure you keep your setup and you guys can do a riffle shuffle, which is what I did in the performance, but you guys really got to be careful not to flash the blue card that you have here on the bottom. Just don't go like that or else you'll flash it. So just kind of cover it up a little bit like this. Make, finish your riffle shuffle. Make sure you keep the blue card on the bottom. You finish with the, your other duplicate on top, just like that. And when you're scoring up the cards, be really careful not to flash. Now at this point, you're going to have your spectator uh, go ahead and choose a card. They can choose any card except the top or bottom. So just to prevent them from choosing the top card, just place your thumb over it like that. And do you, I recommend you guys spread through basically through the entire deck so your spectator can keep in mind that all these cards are red. Just make sure you know you obviously don't go to the bottom and flash that blue card. So one more time here, your spectator chooses a card. Make sure it's not the top or bottom. And when you guys are performing this trick, you are going to want to see the cards. So in this case, we have the seven of diamonds. And then what you're going to do from here is simply just take the card. You're going to place it face down on top of the deck. And now you can have your spectator cut the cards because all you need to do is get this blue card 
directly uh, you know, on top of their selection. So basically, you're going to have your spectator, or you can just go ahead and cut the cards just like this. Make sure if your spectator is doing it, they do it pretty carefully. So you know, don't flash the blue card at all when you're square when you're uh, you know squaring up the cards here. Now, once you've done that, you can snap your fingers over the pack, tell your spectator that something happened uh, with the deck when they did that. So you can spread through and show them that one card actually changed colors, and this right here is going to be your blue card. Then directly below it is going to be their selection, and then right below that is going to be your other duplicate. So you can just spread through, show them, you know, that there is in fact one blue card, spread through the entire deck, show them that there is in fact only one blue card. You're going to take the uh, bottom portion of cards here, you know, with the blue card, you're going to take it, you're simply going to bring it right to the top of the deck, just like that. And now what you guys need to do here is a double lift. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what the double lift is, but if you do not know it already, I'll put a link on the screen right now for a tutorial on it. You're basically just lifting two cards as one. So I think the easiest way to do that, to make it as clean as possible, is just kind of talk to your spectator here, get a break above, you know, the two cards, just like that, lift it up with your thumb, and tell your spectator that you got one card to change colors, and you're going to do your double lift, and you're going to show them that the one card is somehow their selection, the seven of diamonds. Now, kind of as you're talking to them, saying that was pretty good, but to make this trick better, you're going to want to do it again. You're going to lift the double packet right back over, just like that, and you're going to tell them, okay, I'm going to place the seven of diamonds off to the side here, but in reality, you're placing the colored card, which is the king of spades, just like that. Now, at this point, your spectator thinks that was their selection of the seven of diamonds, but in reality, you know, it's your second duplicate. Now, what you guys need to do here is basically just get this card to the bottom, because you need to get the king of spades now to the top, because you're going to be forcing this card onto your spectator, and all you guys need to do here is get a break, a thumb break above uh, the top card, or below it rather, which is going to be, you know, the seven of diamonds. You're going to come over like that. You can just push it over with your thumb, pull it back, get a pinky break, come over with your thumb, transfer that, you know, to a thumb break. You guys are going to do a cut just like this. You're going to bring the bottom portion of cards right to the top. You're going to maintain this break. You're going to take the rest of the cards, bring those from the break, bring those right to the top. And what you guys have done there is you brought uh, their original selection, the seven of diamonds at the bottom, and now you've got the king of spades right on top. It's pretty simple. And guys, the second setup uh, for the trick, which I'll get into in a second, basically eliminates that move. So if you guys do not want to do that, I would stick around so you guys understand the second setup. But really quickly here, guys, all you need to do is just use any force you want to to force the king of spades onto your spectator. I'm not going to go in depth on a force here, but what I did in the performance is I just swing cut half the cards, kept the break, just like this. It's an easy riffle force. Wherever your spectator says stop, you just lift up on the pinky break. So let's say they say stop right here. You say, okay, you guys could you could have said stop anywhere. Uh, their card is going to be the king of spades. You say, okay, we're going to do the same thing here. You place it right on top. You go ahead and have your spectator cut the card in the middle. Snap your fingers over the deck. Show them that, you know, there's not a blue card in the deck here but there is one on the table. You can snap your fingers, do whatever you want to, wave your hand over the card and show them that it actually changed into their second selection, the King of Spades. And then that is basically the card trick. And now guys, really quickly, I'm just gonna go over the second setup, which you can do, which eliminates you having to do the double undercut just like that, you know, midway through the trick. So one more time here, guys, I'm gonna take out the King of Spades and I'm going to just show you guys the little difference in the setup here. Hold up, guys, let me find the King. So we have uh, the King of Spades right here. All you guys need to do it's just take your uh, king of spades with the same color as the rest of the deck. You're going to place that on the bottom, and then right below that on the very bottom is going to be your second uh, duplicate with a different color back. You guys are going to start off having your spectator choose a card. You are going to show them the card. You can see it yourself, queen of, queen of diamonds. Go ahead and place it on top. They cut it in the middle. Show them that one card changed colors. You spread through here. Show them the card that changed colors is the blue uh, one card, you know, changed into a blue card. You take these cards, you bring them right to the top. And now at this point, what you have here is that king of spades on the bottom instead of the top. And now you guys just need to do your double lift again. So you have the two cards here. You do your double lift, show your spectator that the, you know, one blue card is it really their, is their selection. But in reality, you know, you have two cards. You're going to go ahead and turn your double packet back over. Say, okay, I'm going to take the queen of spades. I'm going to place it off to the side. But in reality, that's your duplicate. So at this point, you have your second duplicate, the king of spades here on the bottom. And all you guys can do here is just a Hindu shuffle force, really any force that forces that bottom card. So you guys are doing your Hindu shuffle force. They say stop anywhere. You just say, okay, your car, you say, could have stopped set. You could have said stop anywhere. In this case, you said stop right here. So your card is the king of spades. Um, that's a way to force the king when it's on the bottom. Or if you guys just, you know, 
want to use a force that involves the, the force card being on the top, you guys can just do an overhand shuffle. You just bring the king right to the top, and then you guys can do a slip force. You can do, you know, a riffle force, any force you want to. So that's just, you know, the second setup. There's really not too big of a difference between the two. It's just your personal personal preference. So I hope uh, both setups for this trick made sense for you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I definitely recommend you guys give this trick a try. It will definitely fool everyone you perform it to. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. So guys, that is going to conclude this video. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.